All right. Prepare your Salesforce org for user. So this is the continuation for the admin certification preparation. So let's talk about exchange rates and then customizing the home page. Create a unique account list view, which I think you should already know this by now. We've gone through the whole admin, beginner, intermediate and advanced. This is so basic and create chatter groups. Let's start. Set up the exchange rates. So to set up the exchange rates, you will need to be managing an organization that deals with multiple currencies. Meaning, maybe you are managing an org that sells services or products in multiple currencies. You sell in US dollars, Canadian dollars, euros, rupees, and so on and so forth. So, with that, you will need to set up multiple currencies and exchange rates so that opportunities on your Salesforce org can have multiple currencies depending on where you sell them to. All right. So first things first, let's enable multiple currencies. So we do that from company information. Remember, so these steps here, you need to actually do it on your playground. So you know where to, so on the exam, you would know the answer where to set this up. And yeah, let's go. First, I'm going to go to my playground, boom and launch my admin cert here playground so let's go back here while that's loading we are going to enable multiple currencies so go to setup company information and then ensure the currency locale is set to usd english usd so we are playing this in the playground, okay? Don't be messing this around on your real Salesforce org. You don't want to do that. I don't think you will have access if you are still, a, you know, a junior admin. If you do, then <laughs> don't be messing around with that. Do this in a playground, in a trailhead playground. And then within the currency settings section, select the active multiple currencies or activate multiple currencies and then save that. Let's do that first. So we are going, we are in the setup already. This is the setup, right? If not, you just go to the gear icon and set up. And then company information. So I'm going to hit edit here. So default locale or locale however you pronounce that is English Canada so we're gonna follow the trail I'm gonna change this to English US English United States which is you here oopsie oh not Solomon Island and then let's change this to Pacific time GMT minus 7 which is where I am and the local local is change this to US dollar USD English USD so I'm going to change this to USD so this is US dollar our currency and then activate multiple currencies there the currency selected as your currency locale will become your corporate currency so this will become our corporate currency, the currency for the entire org, okay? So don't be messing around with your real Salesforce production org or you will be in big trouble because you, <laughs> you will mess up a whole lot of things if you're changing this stuff on a, an active production org. All right, let's save this. Warning, changing your corporate currency changes only the currency symbol on all your existing records. 
no conversion rates are applied. So remember this, this might come into the exam. Proceed with currency symbol change. So it's just going to change the symbol. So if you already have opportunities with 100 CAD or Canadian dollars, it will not convert those old opportunities with those dollar amounts, not just opportunities, any records with dollar amount into the new one. It's just going to change the symbol from CAD to USD. That's what this is going to do. Okay, remember that? Okay. Right, we've saved that. Move to the next step. Now let's test, uh, make a new opportunity. Right? So amount is 10,000. Opportunity currency is Euro. Oh, before we do that, we want to actually um, set up the first um, conversion. So that would be the currency setup. Currency setup from the company information. Okay. Here. Currency setup. Now we have US dollar, which is one, 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 because we are on US dollar. Let's make a new one. So Euro. Euro, Euro, E, Euro. The conversion rate is 1.5 that we want to use from the trail. It's, I don't know the current one, how much that is, but let's just follow the trail and save. So now we have Euro conversion. So if I want to enter Canadian dollars, um, Indian rupee or whatever currencies you want to keep adding here you can and then you can use those uh, conversion rate and when you set up new opportunities you can choose all right we've set up the currency um, conversion there now now let's create a new opportunity euro currency test all right let's make a new one i'm gonna hit there opportunities make a new one amount is ten thousand right so ten thousand euros close one united oil and gas uk Close date is, let's make it today. This is the name. United Gas UK. Well, well, stage, let's make it closed one. It's a done deal. Now we have the currency here. We want it to be Euro. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna save. So while that's saving, we want to update the exchange rate, right? So we go to setup and then manage currencies and then edit the rates and edit the euro to one. So with multiple currencies turned on, so it's already turned on, let's update and test the exchange rate. Okay, let's close that and pop up the setup again from here. From manage currencies over here. Edit rates, my bad. Edit rates. So let's do one. So through the edit rates, through uh, now it's one, one on one. Now if I refresh my opportunity, this will change because we just changed the conversion rate. There. Now it's one to one. 10,000 euro, 10,000 US dollar because the conversion rate is one to one. So that's how you do it. 
So now let's get the 100 points. I think that's it, right? Let's just verify the step. Bada bing, bada, boom. I will see you on the next video, which talk about updating the exchange rate with advanced currency management. Boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom